Let's break down the MQ-9 Reaper versus the MQ-1C Grey Eagle, two powerful drones that define modern unmanned aerial combat, role, and mission. MQ-9 Reaper primarily designed for long endurance, high altitude surveillance, and precision strikes. MQ-1C Grey Eagle built for reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeted strikes, but tailored for the U.S. Army with an emphasis on battlefield support. Winner Grey Eagle for its battlefield-focused capabilities, performance, and endurance. MQ-9 Reaper can fly up to 27 hours with a max altitude of 50,000 feet, providing excellent endurance for long-range missions. MQ-1C Grey Eagle offers up to 25 hours of flight time, but is optimized for lower altitude, closer support missions. The winner MQ-9 Reaper for endurance and high altitude performance. Technology and avionics. MQ-9 Reaper equipped with advanced sensors and precision strike capabilities designed for high-tech warfare. MQ-1C Grey Eagle slightly less sophisticated in avionics, but excels in battlefield integration with the U.S. Army systems. Winner MQ-9 Reaper for cutting edge tech, and weapons and payload. MQ-9 Reaper can carry up to 3,750 pounds of payload, including Hellfire missiles, bombs, and advanced targeting pods. MQ-1C Grey Eagle can carry up to 800 pounds, focusing primarily on Hellfire missiles and other lightweight munitions. Winner MQ-9 Reaper for sheer payload capacity, operational range. MQ-9 Reaper has a range of 1,150 miles, making it ideal for global operations. MQ-1C Grey Eagle with a shorter range. It's designed for battlefield-specific missions, sticking closer to ground forces. Winner MQ-9 Reaper for long-range versatility, cost and logistics. MQ-9 Reaper more expensive but offers superior long-range strike capabilities. MQ-1C Grey Eagle cheaper and easier to operate within the tactical battlefield environment. The winner Grey Eagle for cost-effectiveness in battlefield use. In conclusion, the MQ-9 Reaper dominates in terms of range, technology, and payload, but the MQ-1C Grey Eagle wins in battlefield integration and cost-effectiveness. Which one do you think best fits the future of combat? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Brothers in Aerospace and Defense for more military tech comparisons.